Hello everyone, my name is Priyanka and I welcome you all to my session. Uh, let's go through our question. It says that define electric flux, write its SI unit and then a charge Q is enclosed by a spherical um, shell of radius R. If the radius is to half, how would the electric flux through the surface change? Alright, so first we have to define electric flux. So, the electric flux through a given surface is defined as the electric line of forces passing through that area. I repeat, it is defined as the electric line of forces passing through that area provided the area is held normal to the line of force. So, it is held, I'm sorry, it is denoted by the letter phi. So, if E is the electric field and ds is the area, then flux is given by E dot ds. We can also write ds as n cap into ds where n cap is the unit normal vector. The SI unit of phi is Newton meter square coulomb inverse and also remember that it is a scalar quantity because here we can see that it is undergoing a dot product. Now, the next part is if we are enclosing a charge in a spherical shell and now we are reducing the radius, how would the electric flux change? So, the answer is, the answer is it is going to have no effect. And why? Because flux as per the Gauss theorem is equal to Q upon epsilon naught where Q is the total charge enclosed in that sphere. So, here we can say that Q, uh, flux phi is not dependent on the radius of the sphere, but it is just dependent on the charge Q. So, the answer is going to be no effect. So, I hope I was able to make this concept clear to you. Thank you so much for your time. Have a great day. Bye-bye.